<laughs> behind these walls some of the most cringeworthy YouTube videos were ever created in YouTube history. These are the... You may be asking yourself, what are lip dubs? A lip dub is a type of video that combines lip syncing and audio dubbing to create a music video. In recent years, lip dubs have been a part of some high school's traditions. Here's an example of some. Now, these are the Inglemore Lip Dub clips. See if you can spot the difference. We're all in this together, Inglemore High School. We might be nerdy, but we like to play. I ace my test. I get around, yeah, get around, woo! To the night, we're dabbing at rock. Watch our lives unfold. It goes electric when they welcome everyone. Has some changes. Did you do your homework? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and playing Fortnite. I'm sorry. Gotta pee, gotta pee, gotta pee. Yeah, I'm gonna take my bikes down Simon's Road. Keep the my grades up. Gotta leave at the end of class. 15 minutes of break time. Gotta go chat with my friends. One of the most embarrassing things in my life is that I'm actually in three of these videos. Let's see if other alumni feel the same way. We make alumni so proud. I'm curious, what do you think I'm going to ask you? Uh, probably, I mean, you said something to do with high school. Uh, probably some awkward sex question. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Is it an awkward sex question? What do you guys think about the Inglemore lip dub? What are your thoughts on the Inglemore lip dub? <laughs> oh no, like as of right now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Are you serious? Oh snap. The Inglemore lip dub? Like it just in general? I don't know. It's. I'm gonna grab a drink. I'll be back in two seconds, guys. All right. Um, honestly, I didn't really care. It was a stupid attempt to bring people together. I like the lip dub. I like that it's at the end of the year. I don't think the like <laughs> production value is very good. I think it's a nice idea, but executed poorly. Fun, but also cheesy. Um, I don't remember it quite as well, but it was uh, can't remember what songs we had or anything. I think it's like a cool like tradition to have. I mean, I think it could have been, could have been a lot better. You know, it wasn't my favorite. Um. <laughs> uh, Tim? No, because it's a giant, it's a giant flex. I, I don't know, it was kind of fun, but it definitely, like, focused on a lot of popular kids. And it's really one of the fun days that everyone should look forward to. Dude, I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, I think it was pretty dumb. I think year after year, they shoot themselves in the foot with, like... Bad, bad audio. Kind of butcher songs. Yeah. I think they should have found a way. I don't know. They were like saying they couldn't do the original songs because of copyright. I don't know why they couldn't figure out a way. Yeah, change the lyrics. The the songs I thought were pretty interesting. I think we could have chosen some better songs every now and then. I'm not a fan of the um, songs. I don't know. The lyrics got kind of cringy. And then I think the music is kind of like. Uh, Kind of cringe. <laughs> I think that we should be doing real songs. Behind this door, the infamous Inglemore lip dubs were made by the group Scandia, former terrorist group. I should not have said that. You may ask, why don't you use real music, Scandia? Well, I interrogate them to find out. 
Call me George Bush. Now this is what we call music. Hit up, boys! And I'm asking probably one of the most important questions of our time. Um, why not real music in the Inglemore lip dub? Oh my gosh. What are some of the reasons why you guys don't use real songs? Is it copyright? Is it... So is part of the reason why you guys don't use real music, is that due to copyright? That is due to copyright. Do, or do you want to know, like, why we didn't use real music? Sure, yeah. Um, we didn't use real music, I was told, because in the very first, like, lip dub that they ever did, that they used real music, and they had, like, a copyright issue, and it got removed from YouTube. But then um, we got copyright strikes, and the whole video was muted. Huh. The fact that there is an Inglemore lip dub with real music deserves further investigation. This is Lip Dub 2013, let's go! You can see in this that they can actually lip sync the lyrics, which is rare because they actually know the songs. Even though this was filmed in 2013, it looks like it came from 2003 with the camera quality. Okay, this moment right here, it, it's It's all downhill from here. This part probably wasn't copyrighted, which gave them the idea to do their own stuff ever since. Okay, so I just uploaded all the Ingemore lip dubs to YouTube, set them on private so I can see the behind the scenes work of them and see what the copyright issues are. So let's take a look. So here you can see I have uploaded all of the lip dubs and you can see here under the restrictions, all of the copyright claims. So we're going to go to the only one that uses real music. So it looks like they have plenty of songs that are copyrighted, but the videos cannot be monetized, which means you can't make money off of the videos, which I don't think the Ingemore Lip Dub people are trying to do. And what I believe what happened is this popped up and they got freaked out. So they said, select actions and mute this song. So we were told that we had to like dub our own music with different lyrics which I never really liked. So we end up having to remix our own lyrics, which adds to the cringe, but Mr. Mills likes it a lot, so. I like it. I think it's a fun display of school spirit and creativity. You know, it allows um, some personalization to some popular songs of the time, and it's really like a mark of the class. Now on to our next I Just Lipped Up. This was the first time they wrote and sang their own music. This became the t Okay. There's been worse audio, but this was the beginning of the Inglemore lyrics. Now, 2014 was the first year that they made their own songs, but they still got a copyright claim. Okay, so they got a copyright claim for the in- So if they were worried about copyright, why did they decide to use a real song for the credit? They actually like planned something out, which is rare for an English lip dub. You can actually tell that they had fun filming it as well, like this wrestling thing. The 2015 IHS lip dub it's pretty average compared to the rest, so I'm not going to talk about it in this video for time. 2016 was one of Inglemore's worst lip dubs, and that's saying something. You see, it was IHS's 50th anniversary, so Scandia chose to select a song from each decade. That proved to be a mistake. Yo, I'll tell you what to learn, what you really need to learn. This opening is the definition of cringe. Ready? Hello? It's me. Yo, no, stop! Hey, this is what you guys call music. Now this is what we call music. Hit up, boys! So what do you think about the 2016 one? Uh, I thought it was poorly managed. I thought it was a popularity contest. And I, they were kind of f***holes about it, for lack of a better term. Okay, and this one, the filming is actually good. But the audio, 
<sighs> they, I mean, any song that they pick, they are essentially just ruining the song because they are writing horrible lyrics. So again, for the 2016 one, they got copyrighted for the end. Okay, the route in this one was not planned well. They go outside to inside, then to outside. You can't see a darn thing. However, this video has one of the most epic moments in Inglemore lived up history. I just decided, you know, to wear red one day, be different than everyone else. My good friend Max was like, bro, it would be pretty cool if you just dabbed in front of the camera, right? And then he was like, all right, bet. And I was like, yeah, bro, but I don't know if I have the balls. And I, was, I just talked to myself, you know, I'm only a senior once. I, I, I saw the camera coming and I just... It was definitely a, a big moment for me in high school. But that dab was special. Like the dab was like, like, like his thing, I guess. It was like the beginning of something new, you know. The next year, Inglemore had to come back. And they had to come back as spirited as ever. Go Vikes! You need only the popular people to do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you were in it. I started it off. I jumped through the, the like, banner. That was, like, the coolest thing ever. Oh. Ooh. What y'all trying to do? Like, the senior year one is kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, this is a good start right off the bat. It builds anticipation for what's to come here. Okay, so you can already tell that the filming in this one is pretty good. You can see people clearly on both sides, like right here, and it's lit nicely. So who did the filming for this one? Actually, so I helped both film that one with Kendall. At the very end, I was up on the stand uh, doing the spinning. And I remember we did a couple of those takes. I got super busy. And then the drum line starts going, everyone's screaming, take off your pants. Take off your pants. Take off your pants. And I'm like, at that moment, I'm thinking, what in the is this? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> the music in this one is pretty decent too. It slaps. It, as the kids call it, it's lit. This is my favorite part. Watch Connor just bump this chick. So who did the music for this? Could it be Safeguard? Well, yes, it is. And why that may be the best one is like, because I was, I'm the only person who's been in those halls in the last five years, I think that could um, like record and mix like that. And like, I had passion in it. Um, I mean, I know there's a lot of artists, but maybe not people who were like traditionally into what I'm into. I mean, it was like a commemoration to me graduating that I wanted to do something with my friends. Again, they're getting copyrighted for the end credit songs, but nothing's happening. Another good thing about this lift up is they do the same route pretty much, which helps with the camera setting so you don't have to change everything while you're filming. The 2018 lift up, it's just like the 2015 one, it's fairly average, um, so I'm not going to talk about it in this video. But if you want to see it, you can go on Scandia's YouTube page to view it yourself. 2016 looked like it was forever going to be the worst IHS lipped up. That is until something so awful, so terrible, so horrendous, and so abysmal came out. The most disliked and without a second of a doubt, the worst IHS lipped up. The moment we've all been waiting for, the 2019 Inglemore lipped up. Vikings, seven classes, more homework. Last year's, I think, was really bad. <laughs> Last year was the most disappointing one of them all, dude. Mr. Mills was disappointed in us. He, he looked at it and was like, literally like shook his head and then left after the premiere. Really? Yeah, because he's like, this is bad. I, I have no idea what happened in 2019, man. But every year, it amazes me how bad it is. Have you seen the 2019 one? No, I have not. Alright, here we go. Online. They just changed. They changed. There was a... What happened to the constant flow? What is 
Nossa, ai, 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 ai. Okay, the filming in this one is way too far zoomed, at, like right here. I don't know, you can't see anybody, you, you can't even see. Um, my name's Anita McConyo, and yes, I am Jamie filmed it. I was part of, like, the whole staff that put it together. I'm wondering, did you face any, like, bullying or teasing after the video? Not to me personally, but, like, it was kind of on, just in the comments, I think, it was just like, oh, like, the filming's kind of out, so I kind of felt like I was personally being attacked, but, like, I don't feel like people realize that, so, like, a little bit. What was the experience like filming the lip dub? It was kind of str well, not yeah, it was kind of stressful. And the people who were like pulling the wheelchair that I was sitting on weren't like doing a good job. I feel like in both ways though, it was still kind of kind of hard because like I'd have to hold it at exactly the same angle, but with all the moving around and such, I couldn't really. It's kind of hard, but. I'm not like experienced in like filming at all or whatever, so I don't know why we do it, but. Okay, and don't even get me started on the audio on the 2019 lift up. Who the heck did this? My name is Paul Richards. <laughs> How did Scandia reach out to you to do the sound? I think someone texted me. They either texted me or they DM'd me on Instagram. Yeah, also through Snapchat. And then one day they just like came to my house. Hmm. Were you harmed in any way? Uh, I wasn't harmed. Do you have any audio experience? Uh, I had recorded something before. Like using that mic for like a different class. And what, and what was that video called? Um. <laughs> Get that money back and spend it on the same thing. Shorty like the way that I ball out. I've been getting money till I fall out. I, I don't think it's released, so I don't know. Why did they choose you to record the lip dub? Uh, I don't know. Okay, like, I was thinking about it, but like, last year was honestly the most disappointing year for lip dub because it was like my senior year and that was like my lasting legacy for Scandia. And the fact that, like, none of us can redeem ourselves this year, because I don't think the lift-up is happening, it's like, huh. In 2020, the coronavirus has shut down all high schools in Washington State, which means no IHS lift-up this year. I asked this year's senior class to see what they think about missing a school tradition. How do you feel about missing the Anglemore lift-up this year? I mean, <laughs> it was never the best part about the end of the year, but, uh, you know, I was kind of excited about it. I don't know. I think it's pretty unfortunate, but, like, what are you going to do about it? Uh, <clears throat> definitely got me a little upset, but at the same time, I'm glad we're taking, like, these measures so that none of us are getting sick, you know? Um, I mean, to be honest... It really sucks because I feel like senior year is like a really special year and it kind of ends off your high school, like pretty much career. But once it really got serious and I stopped going to school, I was like, damn, like that's the second half of my high school career. I can never get back no matter what I do or the second half of my senior year. I was brutally disappointed at the lift up I saw last year, junior. It was absolutely atrocious. And I was thinking about uh, auditioning to be one of the people in it. In it, in it, in it, in it. Okay, um. <sighs> this is vlog Ryan. I've been trying to, I've been trying to fall asleep for the last hour or so, and I, there's just no luck. I, I know I can't give them, like, a normal prom or, like, a graduation, but I know that I have the skills to give them like a lip dub. But I'm I'm worried about what my 
old high school classmates will think of me. Oh my god. I think it'd be awesome. But you're not even a student at Inglemore. I think it'd be cool. I, I would, uh, you know, advise you to use your creative talents elsewhere, honestly. If- I think that'd be pretty cool. It's, it's just, it's just like a nightmare in my head. But you're not even a some help on it last time i interviewed you you said that you it sucked because you couldn't like redeem yourself from the 2019 lip dub and sort of like like you won't get like another shot at it and how that's sort of like your legacy at inglemore well i'm giving you another shot alan um I'm doing the 2020 lip dub for the seniors, and I'm wondering if you want to help out with some of the planning and the lyrics. Planning of lyrics? Oh, no. I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself and help me with, with the sound mixing on the 2021. Really? Uh, would you want the chance to refilm a lip dub? Yeah, if I had the opportunity. How about helping with planning of the route? It'll be really easy. I can do the route. Would you want to do it? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, so it's about uh, like one at night. Um, I spent the last two hours watching Inglemore lip dubs, and I've been copy. I've been having to listen for the lyrics, and I've been writing the lyrics down. Um, it's took me a while, uh, not a good idea. It's been a painful process. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now if I hit Command F, I can search for words. This way I can see what words are used the most in the lyrics. So I can make a true Inglemore lip dub. Here are some of the most used words. Black and gold. 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 You got popkini. 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 Pop popkini. 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 Bob There's Simon's Road, where Inglemore's located. On Simon's Road. Simon, Simon, Simon's Road. Simon's Road. There's the programs at Inglemore. AP Wanik and IB. ASB. IB. Decca. AP. Owen, Ron, and Star. You got Spirit. 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 You. Spirit. Spirit. Uh, spirit. 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 And their schools that Inglemore plays against. Cougars, Cougars, Falcons, Falcons, Newport, Cougars. And there's always teachers' names, which will be a key ingredient. Monahan, Bruce Oak, McQueen, Monahan, Mr. McQueen, that is a common spaceship too. Hannah, and Miss Malay, Rainwater, Man, Mr. G, Miss, Miss, Rainwater, Miss McCoslin. So with that, I, I haven't been to Inglemore in a while, and I don't know all of the teachers there, so I'm going to be asking the seniors who some of their favorite teachers are. I really liked my 10th grade English teacher, Mr. Brousseau. Uh, David Wood, 100%. What do you think about Mr. Fly? Um, I had him in 10th grade for my photography class, and I really liked him. There's a few key features to an Ingmore lip dub. These include like the band kids. And there's always someone in the background who's censored for some reason. It was so great. 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 It was
There's the swim team that are pretty much naked. Fight Club, baby. For the 2020 lip dub, though, we're going to break the tradition and not have anybody from the swim team. Um, I'm not about to ask minors to show up to an abandoned school only wearing Speedos to a person that they've never met. Um, that's just not the best idea. <laughs> Every Inglemore lip dub, it ends in the courtyard singing the fight song. <laughs> Let's ask some of the junior film kids so they could improve it next year what they would do to fix the lip dub. Well, for there to be real music, uh, I would add some good music, you know, good dance moves, good good motives, and some good acting to go along with that good music. Everything flows. You know, a good variety of people, I would say. Lip syncers got to make sure they know the words so that they can lip sync well. Should use a stabilizer. Or at least go back and try to stabilize the footage afterwards, if possible. Now I will play the role of Scandia. I will listen to all those excellent ideas that would greatly improve the lip dub and throw them out the window. <laughs> Alright, let's get serious. Seniors, you cannot graduate from Inglemore without cringing at one last lip dub. You, that is just a tradition that you, you, you can't skip. So seniors, this took a lot of my time a lot of it but here is your 2020 inglemore lip dub wait what's the song gonna be inglemore lip dub 2020 lip dub i told you bikes that we gotta do better Serious. My IB scores are serious. serious. Okay, on my test I be clearing them. And lucky said it, I am delirious. Okay, jump on Simon, so I'm staring it. I'm fine, not talking about her. Okay, smoke that cougar pop bikini if the crew trying to make a false start. I'm wearing black and gold. I got black spear. I'm on a new level. In class, I'm writing essays. Burroughs was screaming at me. Dude, you gotta write better. Hill, she mad about that. Rainwater mad about this, but it's only if you let They saved my name in the apps. Only thing they saved me under was probably an F letter. Yes, I was in trouble. Only thing in my pockets is probably the green notes. COVID clothes ain't go more. Then I was on student view, hoping that I'd do better. I know the seniors are sad, but we got Paul in the mix. His hair, beat cheddar. David with notes I don't cheat. He's studying the Civil War. Now I know about vendettas. I am the most spirited bike in my city. Up Simon said rains like no matter what's the weather. I know this girl, she got spirit, but when it comes to putting it together, she could do better. I sent that girl ADM. She didn't answer me, but I got practice homework at. Student view, hopefully I do better. Practice homework after. I know the seniors are sad. Let's go. Whoa, are you serious? My IB scores are serious. Okay, on my test, I be clearing them. And like I said, I am delirious. Okay, jump on Simon, so I'm staring at it. I'm fine, I'm not talking about her. Okay, smoke that cougar pop bikini if the crew trying to make a false start. Too sexy for my pants. 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 So sexy. Oh, yeah. Go Vikes. Go Vikes. This film you just watched took me 50 hours of my life away from me. Scandia Kids, Mr. Mills, just use real music. You have the talent. This... The end. <laughs>